Hello and uh, welcome back. I hope everyone had nice uh, holidays. I did. I took a few days uh, off uh, from making videos on YouTube, but meanwhile I was still collecting. And uh, I will have some more days off from making videos because uh, I have some work around the house. But I wanted to keep in uh, in touch just to see for you what is coming. Um, I have here a frequency counter from ELV and in that time I think in the 70s 80s somewhere it was a, it was a kit uh, built and the only thing I can find the, from the manual order built is in I think in a catalog of four or five pages so uh, let's see if it still works if you like the Soji oscilloscope multimeter this is the ZT702S there is another one coming. This one uh, should go up to uh, 10 MHz. I think we tested it up to 5, 6. It was working fine. But we have a new one. This is not officially from Sotec. But this one I got from another store. It's a pre-release. So probably some books are still here. But this goes up to 50 MHz, I think, if I remember correct. And this is the ZT703S. I will be receiving another one officially from Sotec. So, because I'm not sure this is the official yet or not. So, we can have a look what is the difference between these. And here we have the LCR meter from Rosui or Victor. It is the 4090C East Tester also. It is a counterpart of this one. And I have here also the portable from Hantec that we already had at home video. But now I also have the portable from East Tester. So we have the three brands then, the Victor or Rosui, the Hantec, and now the East Tester. And it is the ET432 and it has a nice blue color. And I think it is also available in yellow. And they were sent kind of random, I think, those colors. So we have a closer look and we can put them all three together. And I was sent from Kaiwitz a battery tester and a multimeter will still be coming. And while browsing my uh, local eBay, I have here a big suitcase. It's really quite big. And it says uh, Tech Tools by Tektronic. Look at this. Pretty cool. It is the 710 standard version. But I think I read on the EEV block it can be upgraded. It's now to 60 megahertz. And uh, you can upgrade it to the 720. So then it will be up to 100. Removing a few resistors it will be fun. If you are a fan of older equipment, I have also something here. That is the Rakal. And I had already Rakal Dana meters before. And uh, this is also a frequency counter. It is the 9918. It's an older model. But still it goes up to 1.3 gigahertz, I think. Or no, 500, 560. Still pretty cool. I think I will start to make a playlist also with all the Dana Rakal equipment to have them all in one place. I did a video on uh, battery testing, battery capacity testing. And as an example, I had the A-Torch uh, DL24P or PL or well, some version. I think it was the DL24. And it was great because it calculates the capacity. You don't need to run your whole lab because I just take it downstairs and I uh, run it. But I thought this is all loose and I want to have it maybe in a, in a nice uh, enclosure. And then I've found that there are sort of kits. But then I found out they also had the pre-built kit. And I think the pricing was wrong in that time. So I immediately ordered one. And, and they are all sold out now because I think it was indeed an, uh, an error. And instead of having one of these uh, heat sinks, you can have uh, up to four, and the small one was up to 150 watts, and I have one here up to 600 watts, and it is pre-built, and look at this, this is pretty cool.
then I also have this huge Fluke Philips uh, programmable power supply. It's not working. Um, each channel, 60 watts I see with sensing. I have two of those channels. I think there are five versions around. But this is the 30 volt 10 amp 60 watts twice with sensing on and off. According to the seller, it's broken. If I look at the back, a lot of wires are loose. So I really don't know what I will find. Uh, this is all loose. So I really have no clue. I hope it's not a Gorilla repair. This looks kind of dirty. If it is coffee, if it's a bad thing. If this is the juice from the input filters here, maybe I can solve it by just replacing these. But I really have no idea what I will find. If you are a fan of uh, older HP equipment, and I know one of my viewers, uh, Marcus, he is especially waiting to get HP. I have here the 5381A, not one, but two. It was a two-in-one deal. I have no clue if they work or not, so we're going to find out. If you are a fan of the Fluke Friday, I found something, and I think they quite... Uh, rare actually by now it is the d800 series and it is exactly the same as the normal series but i think it was a cheaper version somehow and they are kind of dark grayish this is the 800 but you have the 802 804 i think and that meter of course is very similar to the 820 i believe and there is also a desk version of that one. That is the D810 or the D811. And I think it's pretty similar to the 8010A. But we will see if it is. I found those in the US, but because I'm not sure if they even were available in Europe. So they are quite rare. So pretty cool. I made some videos before about the Raikel Dana meter here, the 190-92 and the 90-98 and I still have a 90-91 to go. And I mentioned there that uh, Steve from Hand Interfaces has a very nice replacement for the internal oscillator. Because if you have the standard oscillator after so many years, it is really, really bad. And Steve made some very nice replacements. He is watching my channel and he has sent me one. So we're going to try this new oscillator uh, to see how much it will improve. And then electronic loads. I already played with a few. We had to look at the Rigel, we had to look at the Sigland, and we had to look at the Korot. Around the two, 300 watts, I think the prices started around 500 uh, euros or dollars. And if you wanted the more luxury model, you already came quickly to around 700 euros or euros. I have now one here that is also from East Tester and it was around 300. So we can have a look at that and it was 400 watts. It is right out of the box here. Uh, it looks indeed a little bit more plastic, of course, than those official brands, but I wonder what it can do. And this is the, the ET5301 version. That means it can do 150 volts, 60 amps, and 400 watts. And I wanted this one because of the 60 amps. Well, and when I start playing with those high currents, I have power supplies that can do that. Uh, I was very happy with Coverot supplying me with this very nice uh, silicon uh, cables, but it is uh, AWG 10, I think. So that is good for a short time, 40 amps. But I wanted a little bit more, so I have here, and it almost looks like your car battery or starter motor cables. It is uh, AWG 6, so uh, it can do pretty much, but it is also those soft silicon things. So uh, yeah, I needed something proper. And of course the lab tour, I still need to do a lab tour. I reorganized the lab. Uh, the radio section is a little bit uh, improved. My 19 inch rack, different devices there. The storage area greatly improved. But I'm trying to find a moment that I think, okay, now the lab is really done. But then you also realize the lab is never done. So I just need to pick a moment for that. So, so very nice things to show in so little time. I still need to do some things around the house. So my video upload frequency will not be that high. But 
lot of interesting stuff is coming, I would say. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you then.